I am Sarah. If you've ever had a difficult time finding that perfect 5 8 inch seam allowance, I've got a great foot for you. There are lots of markings on the needle plate in the machine that will give you different seam markers, but I like to use a foot that has a guide. So I really like this 5 8 inch adjustable seam guide foot. Now what's nice about this foot is it's got a long flange that's all the way at the toe of the foot and then all the way to the back behind the needle, which you'll see is really helpful in a minute. And it's adjustable. I have it set right now for a 5 8 inch seam allowance, but you can move that guide side to side for different types of seams. And we'll explore that in a little bit. So first let's take a peek at how this is really helpful for working on a garment. It's a snap on foot, so really easy to work with. And here I've got a t-shirt that I'm working on. So now I'll just slide that seam right up against the guide. And I love that it comes out a little bit ahead of the needle so I can easily sew onto the fabric and see exactly where to begin that 5 8 inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna zip down the straight edge of this side seam. Pull out my pin there. And now we're getting to where we're gonna start working into a curve. And this is where that guide on the back of the foot becomes really helpful as well. So let me just reposition a little bit here. Now I'm working on the crescendo and this foot will work on just about every baby lock machine. And I've also got pivot position turned on. So as I stop, that needle drops. And now I can kind of just work around that curved edge stop and reposition again and I'm kind of keeping an eye on the back of my fabric as it's coming out of the needle. If I'm keeping fairly straight with that 5 8 inch seam allowance it feeds out through the back really nicely just like it feeds in from the front. So we're almost to the end here. Pull out my last pin. There. And now can see that I have a nice, straight, consistent 5 8 inch seam allowance on my garment. So now I'll flip it around and stitch that second side. So again, I'm just lining it right up with that guide. And this works whether you're working on a garment that's got a quarter inch seam or if you're working on maybe a home deck project that calls for half inch seams, you've got markings on the foot that are easily measured and aligned. Okay. And now I'm kind of coming up into that curve again. And even for the most advanced and experienced garment sewers, working on curves like this can really be a challenge. So if you just kind of work to keep that fabric up against that guide, both in the front of the needle and behind the needle, that's going to ensure you a nice consistent seam and great success on your garment. So just kind of working it around there. Slow down a little bit while you tackle those curves if you need to. There we go. And there again, we've got a nice, easy, consistent 5 8 inch seam allowance. Now adjusting the foot is really easy. I'm gonna take it off and you can literally just slide this white slider bar side to side. And then to determine what your seam allowance is, what you're setting the foot for, I love to use just a little ruler like this. You can set that foot down on the ruler. I usually set it at the one inch marking and then I can count and see exactly where that guide is positioned. And you can even take it all the way out to the edges and get a nice one inch channel quilting marking as well. So you've got a lot of different seams within this foot half inch, quarter inch, five eighths, and like I said, even, even a one inch guide. Now, if you wanna do some channel quilting, I've already got a piece that I've begun stitching here, and you can always lay the foot right on top of the channel quilting and measure based on that. That was a one inch. So I'll show you how easy it is to complete that one inch channel quilting. There we go. So I'm just going to place that guide right where my row of stitching is. And then as I stitch, I just wanna carefully make sure that the guide stays right up on top of my stitching line. Once you get to the end of that seam, just slide it back over, reposition and start again.
and then you can continue on and do as many rows as you wish. I love the versatility of this 5 8 inch adjustable seam guide foot. Don't be fooled by the name. You can use it for so much more than just a 5 8 inch seam. So if you ever struggle with those 5 8 inch seams, all you need is the right tool for the job and then you'll be ready to put your best foot forward.